Hey there, if you are struggling with making Afro beat drum patterns, I'm going to show you a few steps you can use to get ideas from other songs that you like and then develop it into yours to sound unique. If you're new, you know what to do, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So right here we have FL Studio opened up and what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a song that we like, that we're familiar with and then we're going to use the drum patterns, try to get the drum patterns from the song and it's really easy to do. So I'm going to be using um, Kiz Daniel's song, Lie, alright? So when I pick this song, I'm going to find the tempo, double click this, detect tempo, and then I think 75 to 150, then it's going to tell us the tempo, 101 BPM, alright? Next, we're going to listen to the parts that has the clearest drum section, it's typically in the verse or in the intro. So let's listen and see. Yeah, I don't really care about your body type, what we really matter now your vibe. Alright, so now we're just going to cut out about 2 to 4 or 8 bars, depends on how long it is, but we're going to cut just about um, 4 bars, alright? Cut this up, this is where the drums start from, make sure the cut is really accurate, alright? And then we're going to just count for about 4 bars, alright, I think it's cut, so we're going to take out the excess, alright? So now I'm going to make sure it loops perfectly, okay? So you can see this excess, we don't want the excess. So make sure in the beginning and the end there are no excesses and it loops perfectly. So we're going to click none and trim it properly. So play it and make sure it loops. Yeah, that's a perfect loop, all right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to make it unique. So now if you see it's unique, so what we're going to do next, we're going to drag it and drop into our piano roll so that we can see the waveform. All right, so when we open it now, we can see the waveform clearly. All right, this, this is the waveform. I'm going to follow this waveform in making our drum patterns. And if you see any um, channel I open, you can always see the wave file. And this is important. Then before we do anything, we're going to click the pattern and drop it down here so that we can listen to it as we make the drum patterns. So extend this so that it loops perfectly, okay? Well, now we're going to listen to the song again and pick out the key elements in the drum section, all right? So what I can hear predominantly is the kick and the rim shot, all right? So those are the two predominant sound and just, I think, an extra percussion, all right? So I just need to focus on that and ignore everything else in the drums, okay? So you just try and pick out the major section of of the drums and remember please this is not for you to remake the drums to sound exactly like the song just for you to get the drum pattern idea and use it in your own project okay so now we're going to um use our rim shots all right so we're going to come to piano roll right here now we're going to identify the wave file these big ones right they're usually the kick then this th thinner ones are usually the rim shot or the snare or the clap right then the kick again so we're going to position this accordingly and see how it sounds so make sure when the quarter beat so when i place this here place this here place this here so if i play it, then let me raise the volume so we can hear it properly then let's hear now I don't really get about your body type. so then i'll keep doing the same thing I think it also starts here. I don't really care about your body type. What we really matter now your vibe. So and if I turn it off, we can hear the rim shots already. So now Freddie taking out the rim pattern of the song. Okay, so next, what we're going to do next is we're going to play the kick. Okay, so this is um, let's look for our kick. I already have some samples here loaded. All right, so yeah, this is our kick. So I'm going to come to the piano roll and of course load. Remember this bigger um, wave file. Those are the drums. So. I think it just repeats um, every four steps. Let's hear it. If I turn off the original, 
So now you can see it's getting to sound more and more like it, okay? So let's listen again if we can pick up maybe a standout percussion element. Let me turn off our drums. I don't really care about your body type. What really matter now your vibe? I don't really care about your body type. So I can hear like a percussion keeps coming in somewhere around here. I don't really care about your body type. I don't really care about your body type. We can just do the same thing. I don't really care about your body type. What really matter now your vibe? I don't really care about your body type. What really matter now your vibe? I don't really care about your body type. What really matter now your vibe? I don't really care about your body type. Alright, so now turn it off and we'll listen. Now you can see it gets to sound more and more like the drums of the original song okay so now this is where we can now start having our ideas into the song of course this drum pattern is fine as it is but you may want to spice it up a little bit to make it sound even more interesting and by doing that you can add layers you can layer your rim shots you can add layers of percussions and a shaker loop so let's say for example copy this let's layer this and see Alright, so next we can come down here. You can also layer this some more, just to make it sound more interesting and full. So let's come to piano roll and then dump that in as well. So you can try adding a shaker loop, it's not compulsory, but you can try it out to see if it makes sense. And you can see we've got in instantly, we've got in a new idea from drums. And we can even do some more flexing around. Let's come right here. And you can play with the swing if you want to. So let's listen to the original and see how it sounds like. I don't really care about your body type. What really matter now your vibe? I don't really care. And then let's listen to the new version that I made. Alright, so that is how to get ideas from other songs for the drum patterns and build yours off of it. You don't have to make it as detailed as this, you can keep it really simple still and still have a really good song. But I just wanted to show you the possibilities of making it sound more unique and making it sound like you actually own the pattern. Alright, so if you find yourself, don't forget to leave me with a thumbs up so other people that need videos like this can easily find it right here on YouTube. And hit the subscribe button down below for more tips and tricks from me. I remember so classy. See you soon. Cheers.